you guys, we're not doing this again, guys. Come on. <laughs> Come on. We lived through COVID. We are not doing this again. Let's not go backwards. But white and gold. Hi, I'm Quinta Brunson, and today I'm gonna be quizzed on niche internet memes. I think I'm pretty doggone savvy, but I do think that I'm starting to fall off because I just have gotten busier. But I still try to keep abreast, if you will. What's your screen time? What's my screen? Who are you, the police? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> didn't tell me this would be an indictment. <laughs> Whew, I'm sweating. Oh, this feels incriminating. 10 hours. And that's a day. Yeah, but I'm down 21% from last week. Do you have any favorite memes? I do. One of my favorites is a very, it's an old meme, it's a niche meme. It's Shrek's head on a woman's body, and he says, I'm calling the police. I don't know why, I don't know who made it, I don't know the reason, but it's one of my favorite memes to this day. I really like to use it. <laughs> love this one. Sorry to this man is from our fave, Kiki Palmer, I love Kiki so much. She didn't know who Dick Cheney was and she said sorry to this man. Sorry to this man if he's walking down the street and wouldn't know who he was. Sorry to this man. We love you, Kiki. <laughs> sorry to this man. No idea. A, a, is it brony? Is it short for jabroni? No, a brony's like a grown man who's into My Little Pony. Okay. I didn't need to know that information. This is why I need to get back to work, because I feel like I keep learning things that I don't need to know. I know this one. That's America's ass. That's referring to Chris Evans as Captain America, his ass in the movie, his butt. If you were in the MCU, what kind of character would you want to play? Oh, one of the obscure background characters brought to the forefront. Squirrel Girl, I think, is very fun and interesting. If it weren't for that, like one of the Iron Man characters, big Iron Man fan. Other than that, Squirrel Girl. This mustache belongs to American icon and Artur Steve Harvey. I'm a big fan of this mustache and this man. I dressed up like him for one Halloween and it was the best time of my life. Everyone should dress like Steve Harvey if they get the chance to. There's something very freeing in it. And I mean that, it's a spiritual awakening. What does it mean to ship John Locke? I know what ship means. So I'm assuming there are two people somebody with a John in their name and someone with a lock in their name. To ship someone is to, you see these people being in a relationship. You see, you, you ship them, you want them to be together. This is Sherlock Holmes and John Watson. There's like slash fan fiction that people are really obsessed with. I get it. The queers, they really will find a way, i <laughs> tell you what, so. Yeah, I mean, okay, I get it now. <laughs> I love this one. Go Piss Girl is the Gossip Girl meme where I think someone just scratched out, or they just rearranged. I love Go Piss Girl, it's so simple. <laughs> I've never watched Gossip Girl. I just know about things, but that doesn't mean I watch them. I'll like go to the Gossip Girl set on the Warner Brothers lot and people are losing it. I just think that's nice. I think it's nice when people really love things. I think it's really sweet. Oh, this dress. I was there when this dress happened. I was there, little girly. <laughs> this conspiracy happened at BuzzFeed where I worked at the time. And it went super, super viral. And all I remember is you would have thought our office was on fire, the way people were running around and losing it over this dress and over the internet losing it over this dress. So this dress was either white and gold to people or it was blue and black. Yeah, what do you see? White and gold. You guys, we're not doing this again, guys. Come on, <laughs> come on. We lived through COVID. We are not doing this again. Let's not go backwards, but white and gold. This, this has something to do with Beyonce, right? They think this is, Be is this Beyonce's Italian name or they think it's her Italian twin? There's a conspiracy theory that, that Beyonce is really an Italian woman that's named right. Anne-Marie Lestrassi. Yes, so that's what this is. I don't believe this theory, no, but it's fun. But no, I don't believe, I don't believe this, it's nonsense. <laughs> a large, oh, he got money. That is from internet child, Quinta Brunson, me. A large, you got your money, he got money, get it all for him. It was uh, 2013. And I just, all I had was my, my phone and a dream. I didn't even have a dream. I just uploaded a little stupid video to make my friends laugh. And 
I had no idea. It was shocking. This was before like going viral on Instagram was really a thing. The main thing I remember was not being able to get into my phone because the notifications were too much that I couldn't even turn the phone off. I had to physically take my phone to the Apple store to get them to hard reset it. I had no control over it, so it was a wild thing and it broke my phone. It was just nuts. It was really crazy. How was this experience for you? Nerve wracking. I'm happy that I got most of them. I feel like I need to get offline even more. <laughs> Thank you, Glamour, for watching. I'll see you online.